In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best blitzing concepts day one in Madden 23. Now, this defense is something that I feel like uh, we've been sleeping on for years, honestly, in Madden. It's one of the better defenses that nobody really talks about, and that is 3-3-5 wide. Oh, wait, everybody talks about it. But we're going to talk about it a different way and give you kind of a different insight into this defense. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel 3-3-5 wide defensive ebook, the link will be in the description below. In Madden 23, this defense is called uh, nickel 3-3-5 cub. And I just wanted to walk you through a concept. It's really more of a concept than anything else, but um, this is a really, really good defense for day one because of an alignment trick that we're going to use. I think cover one is going to be the best defense day one in Madden 23, uh, just from a pr perspective of being able to play really good man coverage. Press man is really good in Madden 23. And then also uh, being able to blitz the crib at your opponent. So I'm going to give you kind of a two play mini scheme out of this. And I'm, I'm trying to remember, I, I think this is the actual same name of the play in Madden 23, um, but it's basically this cover one. Um, it's cover one contain. I'm pretty sure it might it might be like LB dogs one or something like that. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, anyways, this this is the basic concept. It's a cover one five man pressure, and we're gonna user that deep safety uh, in the box. But we're gonna create a really interesting little alignment with this that is going to enable us to be able to send six and get two free. So um, what we're gonna do uh, is we're going to first come out. So we come out. And this is what the play looks like, right? We're gonna globally blitz our linebackers, and then we're gonna press until our linebacker goes down into that gap. Now, what you'll notice with this is we have a very, um, a very, very good little alignment uh, with this defense, as you can see right here. So the key with this is fairly simple. Once we get this down here like this, we are going to hit square and left trigger and reset the play. And then what this does is it allows us to have our linebackers still in this gap, and it allows us to now have that linebacker coverage. Now, if you don't want to reset the play, you could just manually man the linebacker up on the running back. That's fine. This is a five-man pressure. Everybody's going to be manned up. Um, and we want to stand kind of right. You could stand here. Honestly, in Madden 22, it's more important that you stand here. But in Madden 23, it really doesn't matter. You can just stand opposite of the linebacker. It's fine. But what you'll see is we're going to get some crazy pressure off of this edge. Now, in Madden 22, um, the pressure really primarily is a loop pressure, but in Madden 23, this is going to be an absolute screamer um, at the quarterback. It's real simple to set up, too, by the way. So, again, just globally blitz your linebackers, press until the linebacker goes into the gap. Now, what we really want is for him to go into that left side A gap. That's really the, the key to the defense, honestly. Um, but what, once we get him down like this, one of my favorite things to do is to man him up on the on the on the running back and then like i said you see how good this alignment is um it's just a really good coverage and um you know very simple now uh what's going to happen is if the opponent blocks a running back in madden 22 we're still going to get really good pressure at the quarterback you see how super fast that pressure comes it's really really good if they block a running back the problem in Madden 22 is what if they block a tight end? So you'll see here, um, if they block a tight end, this blitz is going to pretty much get picked up and the five man version is gonna get picked up. I love to blitz my user too, by the way. And what you'll see is the blitz gets picked up and now, you know, they, they not, it's not like everything's open and you're gonna get a really fast shed, but you do see how this works. Now I wanna show you something else that I think is really interesting. And this is where I'm gonna come back to um, the six man version of this blitz. So you're going to notice here that um, I think it's this guy is manned up or no, this guy right here. He is manned up on the tight end. OK, what you're going to notice is he's going to kind of like see how he kind of like just doesn't really do anything um, when the tight end goes out on a wrap. What we're going to do is kind of a, a little bit or when the tight end goes when the tight end blocks, he doesn't do anything. So when we send the six man pressure. I'm going to show you something I think is really interesting. So I'm going to block my tight end and I'm going to put my running back on a wheel. And what you're going to see here is this guy um, that that safety is still going to kind of stay down as a spy. Um, but the other thing that you're going to notice is if let's say that the, the running back blocks and the tight end goes on a route, he'll go with the tight end. So this is essentially the way I like to run this defense. I love to send six. And if the running back goes out on a route, I just know I need to go guard him. So I'm going to come down. Oh, the running back blocks. So now I'm free to kind of be a rat in the hole, if you will. So this is my preferred way to run this defense. Another really cool version of this. Um, this one's not as good from an alignment perspective, um, specifically against like spread sets. 
but what you can do with this is let's say that you're playing someone that's running like a trips tied in kind of PA crosser type of, you know, type of attack. What you can do with this cover one contain, this cover one contain really is good for this because you're going to get a really good um, ability to get a potential press. Now you can move this guy down like this, you know, and kind of do it like this if you want. But let's say that they block their running back and then they kind of run like a traditional um, setup. Well, what you're going to notice here is because we're sending six, we're going to come in super fast at the quarterback. It's my favorite blitz in the game because um, it's a bare look. The pressure super comes really fast um, and you're able to, you know, really kind of like counter uh, a lot of stuff. So let's say they block a tight end. It's a little bit better pass protection method. You'll see we're going to get potentially a gap pressure right through that middle. The, the, the blitz out of against trips a little bit of a nuance. Like I said, it's a lot better. If this linebacker goes to the like right side or the left side, but you can also just do this with user. Now in Madden 23, I will say that you don't have to contain. You can just run this blitz and you see how good this is. Um, so just super good pressure. It's gonna force them to have to max protect to stop it. And then this is where we're gonna go to our coverage defense. So how do we set up a coverage defense out of this? It's actually fairly simple. We're just going to reset our linebackers and purple both of our outside guys. And then we're going to bluff blitz one of our defensive linemen, typically the defensive lineman opposite of the running back. So you see, this is what the defense looks like now. Now we're in a max coverage variation, but they're max protecting, only sending three people out. We're gonna get a double team there. And as you can see, this defense really does a great job of defending the majority of what people wanna do. This is one of my favorite defenses in the game day one. If you wanted a zone variation of this, I would still recommend being on man line. Um, so this is a man aligned cover three, if you, if you will. And then, you know, we can just kind of create our own little zone, um, our, our own little zone variation. So we're saying we're going to send five. Uh, but you see here that, you know, we, we can take this safety that's over there and put him in a, um, like a middle third. So you see how that works. So, you know, you can kind of do something like this. Um, you know, you can even do something like this. This is a really good defense. And then you're just gonna use her over the top. But what's really nice about this is you're still going to, let's say that they send five people out on a route, you're still going to get really good pressure at the quarterback and you're gonna have great coverage to boot. So I love this defense. I think this is a very interesting way to run three, three, five wide. Um, but I really think that this, this right here, um, it's just really hard to run on this. And it kind of creates a, you know, two, four, five, double a gap feel, but it's from a bare look. That's going to really be very good at stopping the run and stopping the pass. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn, learn the rest of my nickel three, three, five wide defensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is down in the description. Thanks for watching and uh, really getting excited for Madden 23. Hope you guys are as well. I think it's going to be a great year.